Okay, it's fine. In this video, we will be discussing the concept of pointer arithmetic. Now, what does uh, that mean? Pointer arithmetic means that we will be uh, performing any sort of operations using the concept of pointers. So, uh, any kind of operation, the operations can be any additive operators, subtractive operators. So, whenever pointer is involved, we can perform the operations accordingly. Let me tell you, uh, pointers, uh, you cannot directly add integers to pointers. Like for example, we have main and we have int a, let's say 75 and we have a pointer in star p, p storing the address of a. I can always write star p is equal to star p plus 1. So what is this star p? Star p is, p is pointing to a, a value is 75. So star p value will also be 75 plus 1. That would be 76. Now the point over here is whether I can add p plus 1? No. The answer is clearly no. Why? Because pointer does not hold a data type and you are directly adding an integer to p which is not possible. Using the referencing operators, we can add. Let's say, for example, we have uh, another example I can quote is that there are two kinds of uh, pointers in A, B. A is 70 and B is 85. And we have two types of pointers, P, comma, P1. P is storing the address of A. P1 is storing the address of B. So technically, star P value would be 70 and star P1 value would be 85. Why? Because P is pointing towards A and if I want to dereference P, so dereference P means dereferencing P address of A uh, and the value of A will come. Same applies with star of P1. And P1 actually is storing the address of B. And if I use the reference operator, the reference operator uh, reference is uh, taken out. So the point over here with pointer arithmetic is that we can manipulate the values accordingly also. So in pointer arithmetic, the point is direct. I cannot write P is equal to P plus A. I cannot. Why? Because a is integer and P is a pointer directly. Values cannot be added, so cannot be performed. I cannot also write P is equal to P1 plus B. Cannot be done. But we can definitely access them accordingly. So how the accessing is done? We are continuing with this example. P is showing the address of B. And I want everyone to just pay attention to this important point that I am going to make. Uh, the point is that P and P1 are there. I Can I assign uh, star of P is equal to star of P1 plus 20? Definitely possible. Why? Because star of P is integer value. Star of P1 is also integer. Integer and integer can be added. Possibility is there. Uh, can I assign P1 is equal to P? Definitely we can assign the values. Why? Because if P1 is equal to P, P is assigned to P1, it means P1 will point where P is pointing. It means over here, P is pointing towards A, P1 is pointing towards B. So P1 will now point where P was pointing and P was pointing towards A. So this can be possible. Fine. Uh, so this uh, is there. And I want to display see out uh, star of p star of p1 a and b now i want to display this so i want to solve this particular question we all know p is pointing towards a so uh, p is pointing towards a and a value is 70 right and p1 is pointing towards b and b value is 85 right 
this the answers are absolutely fine star of p is equal to star of p1 plus 20 so over here we have to display the value of star of p so star of p we all know that star of p value is a and star of p1 is b so these values are already assigned so over here i want to take the answer of star of p is equal to star of p1 plus 20 so it means star of p1 star of p1 is b b value is 85 plus 20 that is 105 now star of p value is 105 it means p is pointing to a variable whose value is 105 this value is updated right this answer is updated now important point guys p1 is equal to p it means p1 will point where p is pointing so p is pointing towards this a so p1 will also point towards a this is very 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 important so p is pointing towards a 105 p1 will also point towards 105 now i want to display this star of p obviously p is pointing towards 105 star of p1 guys p1 is also pointing towards 105 105 is taken then uh, a value we all know has been updated 105 and b value is unchanged the answer is 85 this is how pointer arithmetic works direct addition of integer to pointers is not possible we can always access them using uh, a dereferencing operator and how this answer turns out to be this we can always assign a pointer to another pointer because uh, that pointer will point to the previous pointer where pointer is pointing right so if you like this video kindly like share and subscribe and share it to maximum audience so that we can reach numbers and divide it